What's up, y'all? Thanks for coming back. As always, I'm Carlos. This is my channel, Just Ask Carlos. And this might be the last video that I ever record on my iPhone 11 Pro. But that's because I pre-ordered the iPhone 12 and I'll have it next week. I'll be comparing this video to the iPhone 12 Pros and making a comparison video. Enough about video. This video, organizing your music library, whether or not you're a DJ or not, this is the easiest way to organize regardless if you use Mac or PC. I'm talking about iTunes or now what it's called the music app on all of their devices actually. So if you own an iPhone, an iPad, if you have an iPod touch, if you are using a MacBook Pro or MacBook Air, it doesn't matter. If you're still on PC, you have access to iTunes. I'm not sure how much longer they're going to keep it, but regardless, the reason that I'm making the video is because a lot of people have music that they've either downloaded or they've ripped from a CD or however you get your music purchased and you want to find an easy way to organize it. But if you're a DJ especially, you want to make sure that all of the music that you have is easily accessible, easy to find every time you download a song. So with that being said, what I do is I download each track. I don't download full albums anymore because very rarely there are songs that actually are part of a good album. So I download the tracks that I want. And then once I do that, I actually import them into iTunes or music. That organizes everything by artist, album, and then the song. And then from there, I throw it up into my Google Drive. That's just so that way I can get them to my other devices. But this is exactly what I do once it's in Google Drive and how I get it onto my other computers and manage it through iTunes or music. From there, I move it into Serato, which is my app of choice for DJing, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So I'm gonna give you the easy way to use iTunes or the music app working with Serato, and if you're not a DJ, just organizing your music library. But for the DJs out there, once you have your music organized, how to get it into Serato and match all of your playlists that you already have in iTunes without having the iTunes integration. The big reason why I do this is because as soon as you launch Serato, the first thing it's doing, aside from reading all of your crates, it's gonna pull your iTunes library into Serato, which takes time. So if you've got a lot of music like I do, as soon as it's done reading your crates, the next thing it's doing is pulling one playlist at a time every time. I'm not sure why it doesn't just read it like Serato with the crates. If you don't want to use iTunes integration, if you don't want to deal with the slowdowns, and you just want an easy way to be able to take all of the playlists that you have in iTunes and bring them into Serato, this is the video for you. Okay, let's go ahead and open up this MacBook Pro. I'm going to screen share so that way you can see everything on the screen and then walk you through exactly what to do. So I just wanted to show you how easy it is to organize your library with iTunes or Apple's new music app and using that with Serato without having to enable Serato's iTunes library feature. Now it's much easier to just use Serato with the crates that are built into it. It loads much faster and saves you a lot of time from waiting on iTunes or music to generate all of those playlists in Serato. So I'm gonna show you exactly how I do it, and hopefully this saves you some time, but also helps you use iTunes to organize your library if you don't already have a system. So the first thing I wanna mention is, when you're using Serato and iTunes together, you wanna to make sure that if you already have a way to save and organize your music, you wanna go into iTunes or music, and you wanna make sure that you don't have this checkbox to keep music media folder organized. What this is gonna do, as soon as you import your music, it's going to sort it by the artist name, then the album, and then the song. If you're using folders that are based on each specific CD that you've imported, or if you downloaded a pack of music that you kept in that folder rather than by the artist, this will change that. So make sure you uncheck this if you already have a way to organize your music and all you want to do is be able to move your playlists from music or itunes into serato for everyone else who wants to organize your music by as i mentioned album after the artist and then the song name inside of that album make sure you keep this checked next thing you want to do locate your itunes or music library so i have everything in my music hard drive which is external and then i have a folder inside of that called music. Now that we've located our music folder, 
it's already set to what we want, we're organizing the music, or we're not, let's go ahead and get started. So this song, which I recently downloaded, which will go under songs just so we can see everything, I'm actually going to locate it in the library and in Finder, and I'm just going to remove it. And this is so that way we can kind of replicate downloading it for the first time. Shows that it can't be located. So now we're just going to go ahead and remove it. Okay. So now it's as if the song never existed. First thing you want to do is open up Finder, go to Computer, and locate your automatically add to iTunes, or if it's the new music app, automatically add to music in your library. Now you can find this by going to the same location we just looked at in iTunes. And in this case, automatically add to music. Now I've saved this over in my sidebar. You can do this as well for ease of use. I recommend it. So we have our automatically add to music. And we're going to go ahead and throw this in to that folder. If you have iTunes or music already open, it's going to import that song. As you can see, it just disappeared. Let's go into recently added and we can see the song. And it now shows up. Now, what if you have playlists in iTunes and you want to move those over to Serata? Very simple. Let's say your playlist name is move to Serato. I'm going to go ahead and put that into the Move to Serato playlist. Why don't we add a few more songs for the sake of the tutorial. Perfect. So not only do we have the new song we downloaded, but we also have a few more songs in this playlist. And I'll show you exactly how to move those into Serato. Let's open Serato. And if you're like me, I have a new downloads crate. I have it sorted by the year. And then I have the months that I'm downloading the music. So I'm going to create a new crate. I'm going to call it October 2020, since it's October. I have all of my music for each month that I've downloaded. So since it's October, we're going to move it in there. And for the sake of the new song that I just imported, all you're going to do is drag it, drop it into Serato, and then load the track. Serato has already analyzed it. As soon as you've loaded it up and you can play it and it'll always be there as long as your music source is still connected unless you keep it internal then it's going to show up every time you launch Serato. Make sure your external hard drives are connected when you're doing this. Hopefully I don't have to tell people that but just for the sake of troubleshooting make sure if you're using an external drive it's connected. So what do we do with this playlist in iTunes or music? So this is one of many iTunes playlists that you've created. How do we move them over? Well, it's very simple. Let's create a crate and name it the same as the playlist that we have in iTunes. Move to Serato. I'm going to go right back over here. Of course, select the playlist, highlight, hold shift, and then highlight the last item. Or I can hold the command key and the letter A and then I'm just going to drag it into the new crate that I created that matches the name of the playlist that I already have in iTunes or music. And you're done. And as you can see, the file is still in the same place. It wasn't moved. It wasn't organized. As soon as it's imported into iTunes, everything's <coughs> done as far as where your file is going to be located. So all you're doing is dragging that song into Serato. It reads its location as it's already been organized by iTunes, and you're done. So if you want to load up the new songs, they are all there, including my new song that I just downloaded, and we're done. Now what if you have a bunch of playlists? Well, unfortunately, you have to do this the same way. Create a new crate. Create the name, the same as you have it in your iTunes playlist. Open that playlist up. You want to select all and drag them into your new playlist. So hopefully this helps somebody. I know that a lot of people are against using iTunes when you have Serato, 
But iTunes is a great tool to import songs automatically as you download them, organize your entire library, be able to move all of your playlists that you already have into Serato, and then being able to manage and play all of your music without having to worry about the iTunes XML or the import. So if you're wondering, that checkbox, show iTunes library, when I check that, it's going to read my entire iTunes library, which can be lengthy, and then it's going to import all of the playlists every single time that I open up Serato. So make sure that you uncheck that with your external hard drive disconnected if it's already checked. That'll save you time in having it disable all of those folders. Or if it's internal, click it and then just be patient because it's going to take a while for it to offload all of those playlists. All right, y'all. So hopefully that helped y'all out a little bit. If not, leave some comments down below and let me know if you're using iTunes or if you're using music, if you are using something else. And if you have an idea for a future video, leave it down below as well. So make sure you like, subscribe, and of course, share this video. And with that, I'm Carlos. This is my channel, Just Ask Carlos. And I will definitely see y'all on the next one.